I'm on here Apple. It's Monday, and you know what time it is. It's time for this weekend Android. So this week, looking at my notes, very many news. So we started with some general Android news. So in terms of news, let's see here. All oh, right. So Android has imported the iPhone 3G as well as the iPhone 2G. I'm not going to post a link, because if I do, I'll look like I'm promoting uh, hacking an iPhone, and then Apple will come and check my balls up. Um, Android is now beating iPhone in U.S. market share for quarter one of this year. Android is 28%, and iPhone is 21%, and we're catching up to BlackBerry, which has to be 36 or 33, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyway... Google is going to launch a new book service called Google Editions. It's to compete with the Kindle bookstore and the iBook store. Except the difference is that the Google Edition bookstore will have over will have up to will have around four million book titles available at launch. It's supposed to come this summer and will completely devour both of them. It's it's like triple the size of both of them combined. It's ridiculous. Um Remember how I talked about the lawsuit last week between Google and Microsoft? It's actually it was actually between first of all it was actually between HTC and Microsoft. But no matter what, the point is that it has been settled. Um, it's boring, but HTC has agreed to pay loyalties to Microsoft for Android phones. Yeah, bummer. Um, one more thing: the Droid Eris um, is rumored to get. It's update tomorrow. The only the only bad part about that is um the only bad part is it's mandatory and you have to wipe clean your um your data. So prepare for that. Hopefully tomorrow. Um. Anyway, now let's. Oh, I forgot. Um, the Intel, the new Intel Atom processor um is compatible with Android, and will run at 1.5 gigahertz. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go on with some. Let's go for some app news. Four big app news this week. Four big apps this week have come out. Um, Dropbox, the official Dropbox Dropbox app, is now available in the Android um, market. It's pretty cool. I'll admit. Um, then the open beta for Log Me in Ignition is available. Um, if you know what that is, that is a remote desktop client. Um, very popular. Very good too. It's in the market as well. Um, Dolphin Browser HD for 2.0 devices. It's a cool version of the Dolphin browser, which is, as you know, one of the most popular um, browsers for Android. And finally, recently, like a few minutes ago, um, apparently the official New York Times app is available in the store. I'd go check it right now, but I'm working on stuff on my phone. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the app news. Um, go check it out. It's in the market. They're all in the market. Um, I'll post a list on this in the whatever in that thing um, of the apps. So, yeah. Phone news time. You know what's current? I'll do some tablet news first. Um, first, the Arcos 7 tablet, Android, um, the biggest, uh, is being, is been officially announced. It's going to be released in June and $299, something like that. Um, it's big screen. Enough said. Um, anyway. So, Samsung is apparently making an Android tablet called the Samsung S Pad. Or more simply put, Samsung Android Power Tablet. Um, apparently, we know two things. One, it has a seven-inch super AMOLED display. I can't say AMOLED. Um, screen and a bunch of connectivity options. You know, whatever. We haven't. We don't have any pictures of it, so I can't put it in one of these areas. Um, and finally, one of my greatest loves when someone shows up Apple. So, so this week, um, two videos have been released of a prototype multi-touch beautiful Android tablet from Adobe that runs, again, beautifully, um, Adobe Flash and Adobe Air with no, like, no sign, yes, yes, droid agrees, with, um, I may go off again, with no sign of any type of, like, bump or glitch. I'm gonna go ahead and post a link down here, and, um, I think I've, by now I probably... I've tried putting in the video here, but it doesn't matter. Anywho, oh, one more thing. Um, Sony is supposed to announce, but supposed to announce a 
Android-based TV called the Dragon Point at um, at Google I/O later this month. Um, so just, I'd go ahead and look for that if I were you guys. Anyway, um, now you guys, you only wait for phone news. Phone news time, guys. And there has been a lot. Anyway, um, first, the HEC Legend is supposedly coming to AT&T. Um, the HEC Legend, Legend, if you guys remember, um, is running 2.1, is running Android 2.1, has 600 megahertz CPU, 3.2 inch LED, um, HVGA 320 by 480 um, resolution screen, and it's a 5 megapixel camera. I'll post it, it'll be, it'll be good. Um, and T-Mobile has officially announced the MyTouch 3G Slide, um, which is designed by HTC and has Android 2.1 with HTC Sense. Um, it has a 6 MHz ARM processor, 5 megapixel autofocus with LED flash camera, full QWERTY keyboard, and swipe preloaded. More details will come out later. Um, supposed to come out May, June, whatever, in August, I think. Um, you'll see it here. Everything will be here, actually. It's fucking here. Excuse my language here. U.S. Cellular, that little company, um, is scoring the Samsung, which uh, Samsung Acc um, Acclaim R880. It's going to be launched in July. Um, specs are 3.2 inch, 320 by 480 pixel screen, Android 2.1, Bluetooth 2.1, 3 megapixel camera with flash, and a full QWERTY keyboard. Um, yes, yes, I know it's only in China, but the Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm saying this wrong. The Meizu M9. It pretty badass specs. That's a 3.6 inch, 720 by 480 screen, 1 gigahertz processor, HDMI 1.3 out, 5 megapixel camera, and its official release date is supposedly August 18th. Um, it's rumored. Only in China, but it's pretty cool. Um, and this thing. Um. Remember that I um I reported a little while ago about that black about that um the square squarish phone um that's now officially called the Motorola Flipout. It's ridiculous, I know. Which is what um that's what they're calling it. It's it's look at all the colors, dude. Um look at it. It's it's actually I think it's pretty boss. Um, Android 2.1 with Moto Blur. Uh, rumored specs are 700 megahertz processor, 2.8 inch display, and a 3.1 inch. 3.1 megapixel camera, um, supposedly in June. I can only imagine it can be coming to AT&T, because no one else would take that thing seriously, um, if they even are. Apparently, Clear is a phone company. I, I know, I didn't know either. Um, but it will be getting two, count it, two new 4G Android smartphones, one made by HTC and one made by Samsung. What the hell is Clear? Um... So Monroe is actually making this thing. Um, it's a pretty interesting Android phone. I reported um, that it was a flip phone that was found, but it's pretty cool. Um, for ch it's made for China. Um, it's called the MT810, and Motorola actually has explained why it has the flip cover. Um, apparently, the top is a um, is a capacitive touch screen or capacitive screen for um, Chinese writings writers. So you know you can take a stylist and you can go ahead and like you know write on the screen so you could write Chinese characters. Um, and then underneath that is a full is a sensitive is a resistive full capacitive touchscreen um, multi touch and stuff like that. So it's actually it's pretty cool. Um, and it apparently shoots 720p video, and that's about all we know. Um, I think that's about it. But yeah. Um, I'm Wired Apple, and this has been This Week in Android. Um, subscribe if you want the latest news on everything Android. Um, I'm I'm also going to start doing a little bit of an in insiders thing for people who like for people who like to um, hack their droid and stuff like that. Just some la latest news, like yeah. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys later. Later.